Boker Tov, Shavua Tov. Today's stop is Daf Lamed Dalid in Yavamis. <clears throat> okay, we start off with uh, yesterday's Mishnah, which is talking about a case where two men married two different women, and then by mistake, came at the Gemara came out yesterday, by mistake, they got the women confused. And therefore, instead of, we we're talking about a case where the first husband didn't even consummate the marriage. I mean, they were married. There was a Kedushim, right? But then they got them mixed up. In other words, they when they got engaged with Arison, they knew Reuben was, let's say, getting married to Leah. Uh, Shimon was getting married to Rachel. And then at the chuppah, they confused them. And then they realized it afterwards. So they did a terrible sin. Each one slept with the other guy's wife. Now, <laughs> what's the uh, what's the upshot of this? Well, it was by mistake. So they bring a car mechatos and they can go back to the original husband. However, the Gemara, the Mishnah gave a case where it's possible that they're over, they have to bring four chatos. Each person is bringing four chatos, which means how many people are involved here? Reuben, Shimon, Leah, and Rachel, four. There are a total of 16 chatos because every person, if a person sinned, each person has to bring a carbon. A woman is the same answer as a man. Okay, so that was the case. But why are there four? What are, the, what are the four chatos? They committed adultery, right? That's one. No. Okay, that's that would be one regularly. But let's say Reuben and Shimon were brothers. So therefore, when they got married, when Reuben married Leah, let's say Reuben married Leah first, then what was Shimon to Leah? Aishas Ach, or Leah to Shimon would be Aishas Ach. So there's two Isurim. When Reuben married Leah, what, did she, what was Leah's uh, uh, relationship with Shimon? She was two Isurim, Eshesach and Eshesish. She's also Eshesish. We haven't talked about that. So, and those are Babasachas. We're talking about Isra Chalal Isra when you have two Isurim. Well, everybody seemed to agree on yesterday's daf that if it's Babasachas, then two Isurim could, could apply, right? Two Isurim. We talked the other day about Ein Isra Chalal Isra. Oh, well, uh, we said Rabbi Yossi's motor by Isra Mosif. If there's a new Isra that's added on afterwards, and maybe Rabbi Shimon did or did not hold of that. Then we talked about Isra Kolel, that included other people, but by, by Basachas, if they come out at the same time, if they come out at the same time, in other words, both Isurim were, uh, uh, were affected at the exact same split second, then pretra much everybody agrees that Isra is Chalal Isra. So here, when Reuben married Leah, his brother Shimon had two Isurim there, Eishas Ish and Eishas Ach. Now, we don't talk about Eishas Ish until now, why? Because We've been talking about, well, then Ruvain died, right? Ruvain died, so there's no Eishasish anymore, obviously, but the Yisra of continues because that goes on forever. If there were children, let's say, that Yisra goes it's forever. It doesn't make any difference uh, uh, died or not, that he can never live with Eishasach. But Eishasish is still there. Here we're talking about where they didn't die. Reuben and Shimon married Leah and Rachel respectively. And then at the wedding, they got them confused by mistake. It was a mistake, of course. They didn't do it on purpose, a mistake. Okay, they can go back to assuming that they... Uh, that there were no kohanim, they can go back to their husband, to their to their uh, husbands, their correct husbands. But how many surim were involved? So again, if Reuben and Shimon were brothers, there's two surim, Eishes Ish and Eishes Ach were both at the same time. Let's say they were also sisters, who Leah and Rachel were also sisters. So since we have Isra Kola, what does that mean? When Shimon married Rachel, subsequent to Rachel, to uh, Leah, to uh, Reuben marrying Leah, when he married Rachel. How is there an Isra Rachel's Isha? It's already Eishas Ach, so Enes Rachel Lisser. Yes, but if let's say Rachel and Leah had other sisters, that's Kolo, since, since these other sisters are also Usser to him because of, of Achos Ishto, Achos Ishto. So then the Isra Rachel's Isha also applies to Leah and, and uh, versus uh, Shimon. Uh, uh, then let's say Leah and Rachel both became Nidas. Then they can't even sleep with their own husbands. That's Isra Mosa. Since there's a new Isser, right? What does Isser Mosef mean? That this woman, there's a new Isser that's Chal on this person. So then we could say that what? That since it's it's Chal for Gabi, her husband, or even Reuben can't sleep with her if she's Anida, it's Chal also in Shimon. So therefore, each brother was over, Bishogeg Amnam, by mistake, he was over on four Isurim, Eishas Ish, Eishas Ach, Achos Isha, and Nida. Okay? And they're Chal, why Basachas? The first two Eishasach and Eishasish at the same time. They, they got married. That's when it happened. Eishasish, Eishasach. Achos Eishasach when Shimon married Rachel. Since Chal, the, the Isra's Chal on other sisters that the girls had. 
It's Chal also on Leah versus uh, towards Shimon. And then when they became Nidus, Isra Mosef. So there's four. So the Gemara now says, now we're at the very top of Lamedal. We're starting today's Dal. This is the beginning of today's Dal. I just gave you any, the mission of yesterday. Manai Tan Dislay Isra Kol Isra Mosef Isra Basachas. Who is the one who holds of all these? Remember, we had yesterday that, uh, or the day before, the Rav Shimon doesn't really hold of Isra Mosef and Isra uh, Kolel. And there was a question about Rav Yossi. We're going to come out, Rav Yossi does seem to say on the days of the Isra Kolel, but uh, on Friday's stuff, he seems to say maybe he doesn't hold of Isra Kolel. We weren't sure about that. Uh, but who is the one who holds of Isra Kolel? Even, even though we have a call in Isra Kolel, but when it comes to Isra Kolel, Isra Mosef, Isra Bas, uh, Bas, uh, Bas, uh, Bas Achas, that they do apply. Like we just said, these, these cases with the two brothers marrying the two sisters, and then they got them confused. I'm able to remember Rav, it's Rameyer. Where do we find Rameyer holds of all these? The Tanya, listen to this case. Sometimes you can eat one bite, one kezayas. Five carbonos, four chatoses, and one asham. How's that? A person who's tamay, who ate chaylev, which is forbidden fat, and it was also who knows sar. And it was also left over. In other words, it became Hegdish. Then it became Nosar. And he ate it on Yom Kippur when you can't eat anything. Rameyer says in Moise Shabbos, if it was Shabbos, because Rameyer holds that on Yom Kippur, there's no Eir Hotzah. Although Yom Kippur basically is like Shabbos, right? Except there's no, um, there's no Mises Bezin there. It's only Chorus. But not, not in terms of everything. Meaning there's no Eir Hotzah. The Isra of carrying the Shusriach Shabbos doesn't apply in Yom Kippur, but it does apply in Shabbos. It does apply in Shabbos, of course. Imoy says Shabbos, and he took it out in his mouth. Chayef, he's Chayef for that too. So there's another one. In other words, besides the five, the five Kabbalah, there's another one. He's Chayef for Otsa. Amulo, they told Rameir, that's not for eating. That's for carrying. We're talking about where is one eating. You eat one bite and you Chayef five things. This isn't for eating. This is for carrying. But Rameir held that it is. Why? Because Rameir said, when are you high for the king? Why, when you eat it as he's walking and as he walked out, he swallowed it. The swallowing is the Hanacha. In other words, like, you know, in order to be high on Shabbos, you have to pick up something in one Rishus and carry it and put it in another Rishus. If you walked all day, you're never high, right? You have to pick it up in Rishus or Abba, let's say, take it in Rishus or vice versa, pick it on Hanacha. So the Hanacha is a So he holds that it's also eating. In any case, with, why is there? Why is there five? But why is there five? He's from also because he holds a basachas. Meaning, what does that mean? Why does it all happen? The the uh, it started off when the animal was born. Chelav is also right. Nobody can eat chelav. It's all also. Then it became hegdish. Once it became hegdish, it's also bahana. So since that piece is also bahana, so it's also the iser uh, applies to eating as well. Rashi, Rashi, uh, the narrow, the second of the or not the second. Yeah, it's probably the second of the third of the narrow. Uh, um, uh, Rashi's uh, brings down um, that he goes through the whole because uh, when, when the animal is born, it's chul and it's also the chelav is also it's muter b'hanah. Once it's muk, once it became hegdish, you makdish this animal. Since the yisur hanah is added on to the chelav, so the yisur achila also is added on because of zaris when he's not when he's not because now in other words, it's already also to eat anyway. Nobody could eat chelav. Yes, but once there's an yisur. An extra iser of Mosif on the uh, on the whole animal because it's also by no, so the iser of Zaras can apply apply for a non kohen can't eat it too. So he has two iserim at that point. It's chela which nobody can eat, and it's also he's a zar. He's not a kohen because we're talking about a chatas. Uh, and even it's all it's already also to eat, but but added on. Now it became leftover. So since it's also, also for the mezbeach also because it's noser, it's also also because of nosar for this person. Those are two Isra Moses on the piece itself. Once he, the person became Tame, we talk about, we talk about a non kohen who became Tame. Well, a person who's Tame cannot eat any kind of kachim, not just this piece of meat, not just this animal. He can't eat it. That's Isra Kolel. So he's also to eat because of Isra Kolel. So, right, kill now, he could eat uh, a, a, another kohen, another person could eat kachim if, he, if he's, uh, he's allowed to eat kachim. Now it's also because of, uh, because it's um, um, became no sar. Uh, now, now that. Now it's uh, once he became tame, he can't eat anything, right? He can't eat any kind of kachim. Even a regular Israel can't eat any kind of kachim. A regular Israel could eat kachim uh, if it's a kachim column, but uh, now that he's tame, he can't eat anything. So he's also on that. That's Isra Kolel, uh, right? And um, uh, behind Isra Kolel. And then when it's Yom Kippur, now Yom Kippur means he can't eat anything, right? First he can't eat the chalav. Then because it was uh, because it became Kachim, he can't eat it because he can't eat kachim. 
then it became nosar. Then those are added on to the piece itself. Those are iser iser uh, iser moser. Then when he became tame iser kolo because he can't eat any kachim. Then when he became yom kippur he can't eat anything. Can't eat chulin either. Nobody can eat anything on yom kippur. That's also iser kolo. Then when it came shabbos shabbos and yom kippur started at the exact same split second. That's basachas. So you see from this case where mayor says your chai tanakam says your five according to mayor chai of even six. Right, because the mayor says um, that you're high also for carrying when you swallowed it. So you see here, he holds up it's a mosif, it's a kol, and it's a basachas. So the chod, that's a mayor verb. So, right, so that's where he came out. Who is the one who holds that when an anus or chalisser goes away, if you hold up it's a mosif, it's a kol, and basachas, that's for mayor. For a mayor, leave it around. The says, What do you mean? Over here, what were we speaking about? In, uh, in our mission, when we say you're high of four, because is this, or, remember, the eshesish and eshesach, basachas. Right then, she married. He married her sister, Mary Rachel. It's her kolo. Then, when what? When they became nidos, vasa. That then it's uh, that it's um, uh, that iser is bevasachas. Meaning, what does that mean, vasachas? We're gonna we'll talk about uh, the vasachas. But but the uh, I'm sorry, the aishas ish and the aishas ach was vasachas. Iser iser mosif was the uh, was iser kolo was the uh, and and iser mosif was the uh, nida. I I confused them. Okay, so. So who is the one who holds of all that? That holds whether it's Yisra Mosef, Yisra Kol, or Basach, or Seyaz. On that's where Mary we prove from this case. The Gemara now says, wait a minute. In the case of marrying, he made a mistake over here. It's, he was doing a mitzvah. He was getting married, and he made a mistake, right? They went to the chuk, and they made a mistake. So Mary, leave it a man. He leave it up. Who does he, which Rebbe of his does he go? He goes like, I'm going to talk mitzvah, Potter. There's a call if you made a mistake when you did a mitzvah, you're Potter, even though you made a mistake. For example, the case is where a, a um, a Moel had two babies to mow. They, they commissioned him to do two. He had a, uh, in those days, maybe they kept him in the house for carrying whatever. One was on Shabbos and one was on Sunday. And by mistake, he did Sundays on Shabbos. Now he's Machal Shabbos and there's no mitzvah. Because if you, if you mow a baby, if you circumcise a baby before the eight days, you didn't do anything, right? And all he did was he drew blood. So he made a mistake. Rabbi Shua says, you're potter. If he goes like a Mishua, Tabi Bar Mitzvah Potter. So why over here is he high of Karbonis? You're saying this goes, our mission is like the mayor says, you're high of four Karbonis. If you slept, the two brothers made a mistake and they slept with these other wives, high of Karbonis, when it was a mistake. Tabi Bar Mitzvah, you're Potter. You're Potter. It's, of course, it's Osir, but, but it's Potter. He's not even been Karbonis. Rabbi Shua holds his Potter. El Libra Blaz, it goes according to Blaz. Blaz holds Tabi Bar Mitzvah, even though you made a mistake, you're still high. Okay, fine. Eboy say Malom Rabbi Shua. I'll tell you, it goes like Rabbi Shua. Kikam Rabbi Shua. Where did Rabbi Shua say Talmud Bar Mitzvah? Your Potter talking about Mitzvah about the honey milk. I'll be Tinokas because by the babies the Zman Ball because you know he's confused, he's nervous. You know he has to do the meat bris mila today. You know bris mila is always a nervous day. You got to get it done that day, right? So he's nervous. So he wanted to do it on time. Avul Hai, but when it comes to getting married, it doesn't have to be that day. It's not you don't have that same urgency. Avul Hai keeping the Zman Ball low. So maybe even Rabbi Shua would say that you're high in this case. What is that really the case for a truma? Then's not a ball. When it comes to eating truma, um, on uh, uh, uh you're there's no there's no rush, there's no urgency. Look a potter, and even there, he also says, Your potter, Rabbi Shu says, Your potter by the barmits. Where is that? The tanan, but let's say a coin was eating truma, but notice who ben gushman it turns out he's ben gushman chutza, he's a halal and he doesn't eat candy truma. So he says over there, a rabbi Lezer says, You're high of a carbon. Karen Bachomish, Chayev bring Karen Bachomish and a carbon. Yeshua Potter. Okay, so the question over there was there, even if you're not talking about a carbon, uh, you're still Chayev Karen Bachomish because Ben Chalutz is really probably your opponent anyway. But in any case, you have to pay Karen Bachomish and Yeshua your Potter, even though there's no urgency over there. Whereas Talbot Bar Mitzvah, he thought he was doing Mitzvah eating Truma, and it turned out he wasn't supposed to eat the Truma because he wasn't a real Kohen. So you see, even when it's not urgency, Rabbi Shua Potter. So how can you say over here, Rabbi Shua, even Rabbi Shua says, you're Potter, and our Mishnah, you're Chayev, uh, because you, you, weren't, uh, you weren't rushed. He says, all right, Malam Rabbi Barbai, don't ask me cash from Truma. We're talking about Truma, Erev Pesach, like this week. Friday's going to be Erev Pesach, right? He's eating Truma, which is Chomets. In this case, the Truma was Chomets. Not all Truma is Chomets, but the Truma was Chomets, and he had to consume it. Otherwise, he had to be burned. So he was, he didn't want to burn the Truma unnecessarily. So he was rushed to eat it before uh, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock whenever he, that's what you're supposed to stop eating on Erev Pesach. So he was rushed. So that's where he says your potter. So they could go like a Bishua. So there's, Rameyer says, yes, he's, Rameyer is the one who holds of Yisra Mosev, Yisra Kolo, Yisra Basachas. But uh, is he going like, even though you made a mistake over here, Yechai of a carbon? Yes, he goes like Rebbe Lezer, who holds that Tabit Bar Mitzvah, the Loa Mitzvah. 
below uh, Asa Mitzvah, your your uh, your your potter, uh, your chayiv, either like Rabbi Lezer or like Rabbi Yeshua, who says Tavid Bar Mitzvah, Stam your potter. But over here, he wasn't rushed. When does Rabbi Yeshua say Tavid Bar Mitzvah, below Asa Mitzvah, is potter? When only when you were uh, only when you were rushed. But if you were if you weren't rushed, like over here, there was no reason to rush. This wasn't Tuma. This wasn't a bris milah. Was just getting married. You weren't rushed into it. Therefore. Uh, you are chayef even point of Yeshua. Bibai same. So that's all one answer. It goes like Reb Meir. That who is who is the author of our Mishnah who says you're chayef on Yisro Kol Yisro Moshe Ben Asaf Reb Meir. Bibai same. I'll tell you Yisro Basachas Leibush Shimon. I'll tell you what's going on over here. This is the cases I told you before with the women, right? What did we say over here? When Reuben married Leah, what happened? What happened? Michael, he was chayef. He was over. Then there was an Yisro and Shimon of Eishes Ish and Eishes Ach. When Shimon married Rachel, we added on Achos Isha. And when they both became Nidas, then we added on uh, Nida, right? So uh, who's, who's one of holds of all those things? Well, that's her mayor. I'll tell you, no, we can't even go like Rav Shimon, who was the most makel the other day back in Lamed Beis, Lamed Yimel. Rav Shimon, just uh, he holds Enes uh, Rechalalis in a regular case, but, it, but over here, it's Basachas. All the cases are Basachas. It's not like I just described it. How can you have Basachas? How can Reuben and Shimon marry Leah and Rachel and Nidas and everything all happens in one slave split second. How does that work? Ebay said, I'll tell you, Rib Shimon, the Mishkalik of Shimon. So Bishlam Makula Mishkach, I can understand the other ones. When it comes to marrying, I can understand how could it be that Reuben and Shimon married Leah and Rachel at the same split second? Very simple. The Shavit, wedding. pardon? A double, a double wedding. A double? Double wedding. Double wedding, yes, I said, but, e but each one giving the ring, it's not at the same split second. Is it the same split second? So I'll tell you how. We said it the other day. The Shavinu Shliach. Uh, they made a shliach, the women also made a shliach, very simple, very simple. They made a shliach together, Reuben and Shimon. They want to marry those uh, twins over there, those girls, Leah and Rachel, you know, and they sent a shliach, and, and the girls also sent a shliach. You could do a shliach for, for uh, getting married, right? We had that in, in Kedushan and getting uh, exhibits, all that talked about. Send a shliach to, you know, to marry her. So he, the same shliach. So when he gave them the money, let's say, he gave, uh, here's a $20 bill. I don't think they take bills. You better have something more solid, you know. Uh, they gave him gold, money gold and they coin. said, this is for both of you, a gold coin for both of you. The same split second, they got married. Oh, so what happened? You have Eishasach, Eishasish, and Achosisha all at the same split second. El and How could they all be Nidas at the exact same second? How can you say that it was all Vasachas? How did they become Nidas at the same split second? Very simple. Very simple. The Shliach was made, let's say, by the father who we, the author allowed him to do it. What happened was this Rashi gives the example. Reuben and Shim were born, Rosh Hashanah in let's say 5780, uh, two years ago, okay? The girls, Leah and Rachel, were born, twins, let's say, on Rosh Hashanah, exactly a year later. They all became barn by mitzvah when? The following year, right? Following year, what did I, right? not the following year, but 12 years later, 12 years later for the girls, 13 years later for the boys, not 5780, what happened? But, you know, it was Rosh Hashanah, one year, the boys were born. Rosh Hashanah, the next year, the girls were born. 12 years later, after that, the girls became bat mitzvah on that day, and the boys became bar mitzvah. And the shliach was told, whoever made the shliach, they worked that out, that it was done by Godot, that they want the marriage to be how on that day. Now, the girls were nidas at that time, 12 years later. They were nidas, but before the bat mitzvah, it doesn't mean anything. There's no chiyah, right? There are nidas, so if a man slept with them, behind for a nidah. But... But there's no chiyah for them. When is there? We're talking about the women and the men, all the four people being chayav a carbon. They're only chayav on when they're bar bat mitzvah. So they were at the split second when they were bar and bat mitzvah, that's when all these sorum happened on them. Because until then, they weren't married till then. You see, you could marry somebody, but a girl could get married before if her father accepted the for him. But here, the there was the marriage should be how on their bar, bar and bat mitzvah, which was the exact same split second of the same split day. So, they, so all these certain happened at the same time. That's how you could work out this case. Now, that's a weird case. It's a weird case, but you could work it out that the mission goes like a shimon, or you could say no. Goes like Rameh. Rameh, we see in the other case of the of the eating uh, eating a kazayas of. Chela, which is a hegdish, which is also nosar on Yom Kippur, <laughs> on Yom Kippur, on Shabbos, you can have all those cases where, you know, Yechayev is Rekolis and Yisra Basach. Now, the Mishnah said, in this unfortunate case, 
where what happened? <laughs> two brothers married two sisters. And then at the chuppah, they got confused. You know, in those days, they had Ayerson six months ago, nine months ago. Now, when they came to the way, they got confused. They made a mistake. It wasn't on purpose. So the chai for all these different kabbalas, as we said. Now, what do you do afterwards? What about can they go back to their husbands, assuming that the husbands aren't kohanim? So it says that the Mishnah said, and you separate them for three months. Mafrishino, son, you separate them for three months, right? So that you know whose baby it is, right? But so Gemara says, why ain't Asian Masabaras Rishona? What's going on over here? This was, they just got married. This was the consummated marriage. People don't become pregnant from the very, if they're virgins, they don't become pregnant from the first be a while. The whole purpose of separating for three months, Naftali, you've asked that many times, we talked about that, is so you should know whose baby it is, right? Right? Because you could have a seven month baby, a nine month baby. So you wait three months to make sure that you know, right? But over here, so why do you have to wait three months? This was each each of the girls, this was their first uh, their first time in bed. was They had several beers. In other words, that night, they had several times, they had intercourse several times. So it wasn't maybe the first time they wouldn't, but there were several now. So Gemara says, We said there's 16 chatos, right? Reuben, Shimon, Levi, and, and uh, Reuben, Shimon, Leah, and Rachel all had to bring four karbanas, right? For Eish, Zesha, Chosisha, Eish, Zach, and Nida, not 16. Every time they had a, they committed the sexual act, same bad sexual act with the wrong person, there should be another carbon. Why do you say 16? So plus of a tatanam, they should bring 32 karbanas. There should be a 32 karbanas. Each of them should bring eight for a two risha. <laughs> Are you getting tired? <laughs> but uh, there should be 32. What do you mean? According to Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Lezer says you're high of a for carbon for an illicit sexual act for each effort, you know, for each thrust, so to speak. You're high in each one. So two of this, a lot more than 32. It's even in one act, there could be several efforts involved. We're talking about the first time. In other words, when we say you're high of, uh, you're high of carbonus, four carbonus, or he's talking about 16 if you count all the four people, he's talking about for the first act. There could be several acts over here. He's not talking about the first one. He, he's only talking about the, according to him, he says you're high for each cross. So obviously, the mission does you're high of 16, so that when, when he says you're high of he says you're high of 16, it means for the first effort. So here it means for the first beer. But then the is, so over here, the question is why do you separate them for three months, technically? If it was only one bia each, you wouldn't have to, because you couldn't be pregnant from the first time. But uh, over here, they had several bias each. Okay, that was the story in the mission. Amalei Ravala of Nachman. What do you mean you say that um, you can't get pregnant from the first bia? For the first time uh, of a virgin has bia, the first time you can't get pregnant. Ha-tamar be rishonim, bro. Story is that Tamar with Yehuda got pregnant for the first one. Amalei, Tamar be'etzba macha. She crushed her virginity first by hand. So she wasn't really a virgin. You know, it's like a woman, many women get married, the Gemara talks about you know, ride, horseback riding, they can lose their virginity, not just through, through having a bia. So Amalei Tamar Be'etzma Mocha, Dom Rabbi Yitzhak, Kom Mocha Shabes Rebbe, when in Rebbe's household and his whole family, when there were women there who also crushed their virginity by hand, Tamar Shman, they're called Tamar. They're called Tamar because of that reason, because they like the memory of uh, Tamar who did that. Tamar Shman, Lamnik Roshman Tamar. So they're all called Tamar because uh, she did that too. Okay, so the question is, how did Tamar get pregnant from Yehuda with one Bia? The answer is she crushed her virginity. So the question was, what, what do you mean she crushed her virginity? She had already been married to Er and Onan, right? Uh, married Onan. to Onan. Uh, uh, okay, wait, uh, uh, yeah, what are you yeah, saying? Right. Okay, we have married to Onan, right? She didn't want to wait for Shayla Bani. Yeah. She didn't want to wait for Shayla, but the first who she was married yeah. to the Bohavo Er of Onan. Er of Onan, Shimshuk, a famous story. They did an unnatural bia, like an anal sex. They didn't have they didn't have regular bia, so they didn't they had bia without crush without affecting her virginity. As these two brothers, Er died, and then Onan married her, and he died, but neither of them affected her virginity. So Gemara is going to deal with that in May's faith. Close from Rabbi Chodesh, she said, we had we had the Gemara back on your days that during there are times in a woman's life when. She is permitted, lachachila, in fact, according to Tosis back there, she's mechuyiv to, to have bia with a contraceptive, like an absorbent. She has to, she's mechuyiv to have bia with an absorbent. Shalom was before, during, whatever, but uh, anyways, there the Gemara says over there, one of the, one of the cases is where she is nursing, because in those days, uh, it was considered, and it happened today too, sometimes uh, when you... Um, when, um, if, she, if she would become pregnant while she's nursing, sometimes pregnancy stops the milk. 
stops production of the milk. And if she, if she stops production of the milk during the 24 months when she uh, nurses her child and her, her milk dries up, it, would, it could, uh, it could uh, mean uh, death for the child. She, the child has no, no, nothing to nurse. So it could be uh, dangerous for the child. They didn't necessarily have a wet nurse or something like that. They didn't have Similac and all that junk that we have today, right? So um, it was dangerous. So they said, you know what? If she's nursing, she should use a contraceptive so that she shouldn't become pregnant because pregnancy could dry up her milk. Okay, that's what we say. But the Gemara over there is first said, call it from Rabbi the first, uh, during the 24 months when she's nursing, Dashmim Zarechutz, you know how they should have Bia? He should thresh inside and winnow outside. It's a nice way of saying that he should ejaculate outside. He should ejaculate not into her body. That's what Rabbi Lezer said. Now we don't hold that way. But where's Rabbi Lezer? Omerle, they said to him, halalu ena kamaisa er vonon. That's horrible. That's on, use a contraceptive. Don't do that. Halalu ena, that's maisa er vonon. So what do you see over here? Wait a minute. So er vonon, according to this piece, according to that retort, er vonon had regular bia with her, regular bia with, with Tamar. And then they just, but they just, they didn't want to get her pregnant. So they uh, ejaculated outside. That's my shit pregnant. It's like Mars is not right. It doesn't mean literally like Aaron. Kamaisa Erbonon, blow Kamaisa. It's sort of like Erbonon, but not exactly like Erbonon. Kamaisa Erbonon, the Seboy Yombo El Eishazach, the Shechis Arza. It's true that, you know, he says, if that's what's going to happen, you're going to come to, uh, he, he, when Onan complains, he says, oh, you're going to live with the, or if you're going to live with your brother's wife, and then you're going to spill the, the semen on the ground. In other words, it's true that Erbonon, they spilled their, they, they ejaculated on the ground. But for Lokamaisa Erbonon, the Ilu Hosam Shalokadaka, there, they didn't even have natural bia with her. They had uh, like anal sex. They didn't. They didn't have. They didn't have regular bia where where the penis enters the vagina. They didn't have that. Hasam shlo kedarka, alcha kedarka. Right. But we were speaking about where they had bia kedarka. So the question was, how did how did Tamar did Tamar? We said how did Tamar have um, child from the first time because she destroyed her virginity. Right. That's what we said. Destroyed virginity. What about Erev Onan? Uh, didn't they destroy her virginity? No. 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 They didn't destroy virginity because they ejaculated, let's say, not on, not into her vagina. They didn't ejaculate there, but not, but they didn't have regular bee with her at all. They had a, the only bee was Slokadarka. Like Mars is Bishlon, Onan, the Siv, the Sevashis Arta. By Onan, it says he's going to spill it on the ground. Even so to speak, he didn't, he didn't ejaculate into her vagina. Ella, Air Minoan. How do we know that Air also did that? It says, Oso. When it says Onan, the second brother, it says, he also died. Afhu ba'osa misa meis. He died the same misa, or for the same reason as the first, as the as the first brother. So if the second brother died because he ejaculated on the ground, the first brother also died, did that way. So Bishlam Onen, why did Onen do that? Why didn't they have? Why didn't he have a regular beer with her and build a family? Onen mishum lo lo yezar because he said he didn't want to he didn't want to do yibum. Why should he yibum if he has a baby? It's going to be considered his first brother, his older brother's. Baby, he didn't want to do that. Mishum lo yezar, he won't be considered his. Ella er my time of arachi. Why did the first brother do that? Why didn't he have regular bia? Says kadesh lo tasav biakrishiva. He didn't want her to get pregnant and impair her beauty. Man didn't want to get his wife pregnant because he didn't want to get too fat. That's basically what what, what he did. So er did it. And on it. the point is, is that when Tamar slept with Yehuda, it was the first time that she had natural bia. First time she had natural bia. So how did she get pregnant? The answer is because she had already destroyed her virginity by hand. She used her hand to destroy to joy her virginity, but normally you don't get pregnant from the first time. So that fits what we said before. Why did they have to wait three months in our Mishnah when the two guys re uh, reversed their wives? You had it to us because they had several bias that time. But if you only have, if that was the first bia, they wouldn't really have to separate. Normally the Mephoshim say also, like let's say a woman just committed adultery once. So there we say rov bias holach achor and also you would not what 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 are we waiting three months to do at that point? There's no that what 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 would it help? In other words, if a woman let's say a woman was married to a guy for ten years, twenty years, whatever, and she had a she she had a, she committed adultery, she committed adultery with a man. What does she do now? Nothing. She does tshuva, you know, does tshuva. And hopefully she didn't get pregnant from him. But there's no point in waiting three months because you wouldn't know whose beard it is anyway. You wouldn't know whose it is anyway. You're not, it's not like there was a time you stopped and then you started, you know. Okay. Turn her button. Oh, so Pardon? Beer on the first time, she becomes a leader right away. They have to separate. 
That's correct. If she, if, if but she. Okay, so okay, so uh, so um, I'm obviously not a doctor, but um, but yeah. first of all, there are people who there are women who don't bleed at all, okay. and even after the first bia, they don't. So in a chanami, so so that's that's one issue. That's one issue. It could be non-bleeders. There are many many women don't bleed. Normally, though, yes, you have to be separate after the first one if that was the case. So maybe in this case, maybe you didn't bleed or whatever it was. But but but, in, but um, you know the bleeding there is not the same. We can't tell the difference, but the bleeding is not the same as nida. So here we're talking about they were nidas also, right? There was also another mistake because we talked about the four cases. But whatever, okay. But uh, yeah, it's talking about let's say they didn't bleed. Taraban osa prat kalo divrei rav yudam. So what are what are we speaking of? Rashi quotes the pasuk. Pusik says that if a person has bia with a woman, stam, regular bia, they're tame, right? He has to go to make, she has to go to make, they're going to eat kachim. So what does the Pusik say? Uh, the Pusik is in Rashi, probably call it, where's the Pusik? Um, uh, probably call it, Lobay Tfila, the Pusik, Isha, Isha, Asher Yishkat, Isha, Osa, Shech Vazera, Baruch Tzumayim, Osa, Baruch Tzumayim, Osa, you have to wash in water, her. What does her come to tell me? It's, a, it's an exclusion, deduction. Prat lakala, akala divrei biyura. In other words, the first bia, she doesn't have to go to the mikvah. She doesn't have to go to the mikvah. Now, Rashi explains that why does she go to the mikvah? Because she touched Sheikh Bazera. That's Tumas base of starum. Tuma inside the body doesn't count. Tuma is only on the outside of the body. If there was regular bia inside, regular sex, and the bia was in, and and the uh, uh, the Sheikh Bazera was inside, that's not matamir. But the pasuk says normally a woman who has bia with a man, and there was Sheikh Bazera there. The, the Torah says, it's a uh, that they both have become tummy. So it's talking about Osa Prat the Kala. Okay, her, but a Kala, not the first time. A Kala, the first time she's a Psula and she's Bia, she's not a tummy, according to Div Rabbi Yudah. That's what Rabbi Yudah says. Why? Only a regular woman, regular woman, but not a Kala. The first time she's not tummy. Like she gets a uh, an exemption the first time. Prat Shalokadarka, that it's excluding Shalokadarka, only if she had Bia, uh, let's call it vaginal sex. But if it's shlokadak, it's unnatural. Then uh, she's put, uh, then she's not tummy. Um, Amr Hone. That was his name. Hone. Sounds like a Goyish name. Amr Lei Hone. Braid Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman. Lei Mekasav Rav Yuda. Lei Mekasav Rav Yuda. Let's uh, assume that Rav Yuda holds. Why is it that the uh, a woman has bia? She becomes tummy. Why do you say the first time? According to Rav Yuda, she's not tummy. You know, she got all made up for be her, her wedding day. You know, there's a lot of, you know, you spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix her up with paint and uh, perfume and all that. Maybe that's why the Torah says, okay, she doesn't have to go to the mikvah. Let it, let, let, let her keep her uh, her makeup on, at least for the Sheva Brachas, you know? Is that the reason why Buddha says that Osa uh, Yakala uh, doesn't have to go to the mikvah? I'm going to let you know, maybe you're a Roshona. She doesn't become, the reason is, is because from the first Bia, she doesn't become pregnant. So somehow the Torah relates that. In other words, since since she doesn't become pregnant from that one, so we, we give her an exemption for that reason. The Mike and what's my chloxy return of you and, and, and the Rabban? The Rabban don't allow the cow, don't give the cow a free pass. Rabban Savi Sheikh Bazera, it says Sheikh Bazera, it says Vashacha Vaisha Sav. Again, the Pasuk is Ishki Vaisha Ki Asher Yishkav Ish Osa Sheikh Bazera. If a man lays with her, Sheikh Bazera, a case where they have a, a seed, a, a discharge of seed into her vagina, but Rachatsu Bamayim Osa, Rachatsu Bamayim Osa. So the Rabbanan say what my Rabbanan say is Sheikh Bazera Pratla Ra. Sheikh Bazera means excluding if they, it was only, let's say, contact, genital contact, where there wasn't penetration, right? That whether it's a machlok is whether it means just touching or or a little bit, the, the just the crown of the penis enters where it's not a fully a full penetration. So, um, so Rabban Sabi Sheikh Bazera Prat La Ra, excluding Ha Ra, that's what excludes us. No, the Ha Ra doesn't count. You don't have to go to the mikvah for that. It says Sheikh Bazera. Osa Prat La Shalokadaka, that excludes Bia Shalokadaka, unnatural sex. Rabbi Yudha Savar, Shalokadaka, we're both excluded from Sheikh Bazera because either both of them don't have Sheikh Bazera, whether it's Sheikh Bazera, it means Sheikh Bazera, but Osa Makam in a place where it's Masriya in her vagina and uh, and he, him with penetration her and her into her vagina. Uh, Sheikh Bazar excludes that, excludes Shalom Kadarka and Arai, both of uh, uh, unnatural and only and no penetration, both exclude uh, excluded from Sheikh Bazar and Af- Nafka. Osal Pradlakalas, Rabbi Yudah says, uh, Sheikh Bazar excludes both unnatural sex and Harab, 
and the Osa excludes the Kala. Kiyosa Rabin. Okay, that uh, that completes that uh, that machlokas. Kiyosa Rabin. I'm came here to Israel. I'm actually quoted the name of the. We always have Ula uh, of uh, Rabin and Rabin uh, quoting an uh, Ula quote, quoting of Yochum. Kol shishal sachabal es shishana v'nisas shemayni olas. If a woman was <coughs> uh, was divorced or widowed from her husband and she waited ten years without having without getting married, that's it. Her her system, so to speak, closes down, and she won't have children anymore. In other words, it's like you know, uh, it's like a disuse uh, of uh, you know, use it or lose it. You know, if she didn't use her system, there you go, disuse atrophy. There, there's the there's the medical term, disuse atrophy. You know, not using it. That's not you. That's only if she's not planning on getting married. But if she's planning on getting married, she just didn't find the right guy yet, then she could get pregnant. It's amazing. Mind over matter. What this is, you see? It's not, right? If she's planning on using it, you know, it's already, that, that keeps the system going. Interesting. Rava was married to the daughter of Rav Chista. She had previously been married to Rami Bar Chama. And he died. And she waited 10 years. And then she married, at least 10, 10 years, then she married Rabbah. So Rabbah told his wife, Kamarani Rabban of Asrech, the rabbis are talking about you, they're murmuring about you because uh, you, you, know, you waited 10 years to marry me. I was always thinking about getting married to you. I was always, my mind was on you. And that tells the story. He does look at Rabbi There was a woman who came for Rabbi Yosef. She was trying, Amalo, Rebbe, Anasha, you see, I heard what you said. Anasha, you see, I I waited for my, after, after my husband died 10 years and I got married again. And I did have a baby. Amalay Biti, Alta Tzi Elaz Don't spread rumors. Don't, uh, don't uh, uh, cast aspersions on what the Chacham said. The Chacham said that you wait 10 years, they don't have it. Um, so she, Amalay, she admitted that she did have Bia with a guy during that time. In other words, she admitted that she just made up the story. So the Chum said, you wait 10 years and you're not planning on using it on getting married again, so the system can shut down. Okay, Amr Shmuel. All these women, Shmuel says now, that all these women in that, that had Bia, uh, they have to wait three months, right? In other words, women who were married to one person. And then they marry another person. You have to wait three months, as we said, for Avchanas era to choose who is, except for except for a Gyoris who's under three years old, and a one a, a slave lady who is also free, a freed under three years old. A katana. We mean that katana. Katana. Okay, we'll talk about that. Even though we had before back on your base that a, a girl who's not of age, who's not about, who's not bas mitzvah, can't have children. She she might get pregnant in the, in the last year, but she won't carry the term. So why do you have to wait? You know that if uh, from her first husband it can't be a baby, a, a viable baby. But a katana bas mitzvah says mashma, you do have to wait three months. Over my why? Even me. And if you're talking about where she walked, how did she get out of the marriage when she's under twelve years old? If you're talking about what? Where she walked away because it was a marriage to on Rama Shmuel the love boy she doesn't need it over there. Why? Because the whole reasons we'll see is why do you have to? Why do they say even a girl who's under three years old also has to wait for Afghanistan? Because Xayra because of Igdola. But mean you can't do by Igdola. Mean is only by Yon, so there's no reason to make Xayra. Love boy, be be get if you're talking about she received the get Rama Shmuel has Shmuel already tossed it. Rama Shmuel mean about if she refused walked away if she's a Tana and it's Rishon she has to wait three months and she chalam just like Gadash nothing like get if you ever get she chalam says. Even though she's a katana, why? Because exactly. Because the answer is so. We already know Shmuel said that Ella Biznus. We're talking about where somebody was mezana with her. She was uh, prostituted. Because the rabbanu katana mishim gold. The rabbanu where goes there a katana gold. Truth is, there is no. You don't have to separate. She doesn't have to wait three months because she can't have a baby from the first husband, only from the second one. But the rabbanu exer katana gold. In what migas rein katana mishim gold? Do you really make the like by the time we learn? Our mission said, What did our mission talk about? When Reuben and Shimon mixed up the two wives at the wedding, okay, they have to bring all those kabbalas, etc. And then they wait three months, right? Shimon Bar saying, We said, What do you mean? How do you have to wait three months? You don't get pregnant from the first beer. Oh, they had several beers. That night, they had several beers. They weren't, she didn't, uh, blood, whatever. And uh, and there was no, and they didn't have to, um, didn't, they, uh, so therefore, you have to wait three months. Then the mission went on. If they were little children, Maritanus meaning, they, they were kind of, doesn't mean loops, doesn't mean, I said, I said under, I think I mentioned under three, doesn't mean under three, under bat mitzvah, under bat mitzvah, you can't have a baby. I said, I, I think I said three years old, that three years old is, is that the B doesn't count. I, I'm 
mix that with something else. But anyway, it tells means if they were not bat mitzvah. So it says if not bat mitzvah, they can get married right away. You just said that a, girl, a regular girl, we're not talking about a, um, a gyalras or a shaferis. We'll talk about that. Why are they, accept, why are they exempted? Uh, but, um, but a regular girl under three years old can make a gzera. Uh, you know, Shmuel taught it once before by getting it, even by a znus, that, um, uh, that they, that they um, have to wait three months. Why? why? Gzera. But do we make, our mission said they don't have to wait. If the girls, Reuven and Shem, were married to Leah and Rachel, and they were katanos, Right, in my Yitanish, generally laid, machzino samiyad. Now, this wouldn't work out with um, this wouldn't work out with the case according to Rabbi Shimon. We said where everything happened at the same time. They got very about mitzvah and all that. That wouldn't work. But anyway, let's say according to Rabbi Meir. Either way, the issue is if they were not if they were young girls and they weren't bat mitzvah yet, you can take them back right away because they couldn't be pregnant. So you see, they make these Amrav Gino Amrav Harasha Haisa. That was a special case. They made a special exception over there. What do you mean, Rosh Hashanah? the Havi, that it really happened? You think our mission really happened? Our mission was a theoretical case. If Reuben and Shimon married two sisters and then they confused them at the wedding, blah, 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 you have to bring the Kabbalists and the whole thing. But the, not, the, not, it says, oh, Rosh Hashanah, like it really happened? Hey, look, it, it didn't really happen. It didn't say, Maisa Shaya. The mission didn't say, Maisa Shaya, so and so. Maisa, uh, what did we have with the uh, Hill, you know, Maisa, the, and um, Pesach, you know, Maisa, this and this? Doesn't, it wasn't a Maisa, it was just telling you a theoretical case. Rosh Hashanah, Right? It was like a Rosh Why? Because Chilaf Lo It's very unlikely that two brothers are going to make two sisters and they're going to switch up the women. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. going to notice it. So since it's a most Lo the rabbis wouldn't go. But normally, normally, if a girl was married and she's 10 years old and and uh, and uh, somebody was um, uh, Mazana with her, uh, then you do wait. You, you have to wait the three months. In other words, you have to wait three months, assuming that uh, she was, maybe she wasn't a virgin. And if she was a virgin, then you don't have to wait anyway, because it was only one time beer. But if she had several beers, let's assume she was a mazana, then you have to wait three months for Abchana Zero. Okay, so that's what Igmar says. Lishna Karina, that's all the first way. Lishna Karina, another way to learn this. They said this other Lashem. Amr Shmuel, Kon Sri Hashanah, Din Shlash Kodashim, Chutz Mi Yoris, Mishach Hashanah, they have to wait Mishach Gedola. In other words, the first Lashem was that a, that a Ketana, Chutz Mi Yoris, Mishach Hashanah, Okay, they don't have to wait three months because if she's a katana, it's okay, it's okay. You have to wait three months. We said before Shmuel said um, uh, if they're shakhras or migaras katana, um, they don't have to wait, but a regular basis role has to wait. Okay, well, me and us, she doesn't have to wait because there's no reason to be goes or dola because a dola can't make me in any way. Get he already learned. So we said, even this, you have to wait three months. Because normally a, a girl should wait three months, even if she's not likely to be pregnant because she's a katana. So it's uh, almost impossible for her to have a baby when she's a katana. And our Mishnah, we said uh, they don't have to wait because that's a Muslim shikh. They weren't uh, something that uh, doesn't happen very often. The rabbis weren't gozer. The other Lashon is going to say, Mishmul, only a gedola. They don't have to wait. Now, a gyoris and shikhar's gedola, who are mazana and et cetera, and they're very, uh, you know, they're very, um, um, what's the word? Um, uh, I can't think of the word. It starts with a P. Can't think of the word. They are promiscuous. That's it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that they don't have to wait. But a doesn't have to wait three months at all. Doesn't have to wait three months because she's not going to have a baby. Right. So, but my, what are we speaking about? Iba me and Hamer Shmuel, Chalas and Shmuel. I said she has to wait. Iba get Hakam Shmuel, the boy get. You have to dab dab Shmuel. Me and O, me and Abo ain't Shrichlam. Then Shlosh Chalashim. Nothing gets Shrichlam. She says she does have to wait. So, what do you what do you mean if she if she you do have to wait? Ella was Nus. He says you know you don't have to wait if she's Nus was Nus Bektana Lo Shchiach and therefore she doesn't have to wait. So according to this lashon that according to the first lashon whether it's Snus or whether she got to get either way she has to wait. Uh, she, she has to wait because of Xera. Now, according to this Lushan, a young girl doesn't have to wait, but I uh, we said she does have to wait. That's if he gave her a get. But if it was Mazana, Znus is not Shriach by Znus is not Shriach by Ektana, and therefore they weren't Gozer over there. What about Gyaris and Mishraeris? The Shriach by Znus Ligzer. Why do you say that by Gyaris and Mishraeris, that obviously they are promiscuous? So why don't you say, why do you say that they don't have to wait three months? Who the Armor Kabbalist goes to Kabbalist in time that Gyaris by Shriach by Shriach a gyoris or a woman in captivity or a shifta, shiniftu that were redeemed 
if she was if she was a, a, a shvuya was nifta and the sky roof she was a yoras vishen shachman she got three three chlamdim milchadash and they have to wait three months because somebody could have deal with them yoras says no matzah the yoras lasmiya they can get engaged and get married right away umar of maitam is why do you have to, why can't they get married sever isha mazanim mishmesh smoch a woman who is nus she was careful not to get pregnant she uses an absorbent kadesh lotzavah so these people you know even if they are mega if they are megaya right now. Or if she was, uh, you know, free, whatever. So they're careful not to get pregnant before. I'm by I understand. Keep the dialogue. She's planning on getting, coming a Jewess. So Menatra Nafsha, she's careful not to get pregnant. You know, she doesn't want to mix up, you know, she doesn't want to have Tyler's child with the uncle's child, right? She doesn't want to do that, right? Shvuya Vishif Hanami, the Shami Marayo. They heard if she was a shvui, shvui, she heard she's going to be free, that she's taken out of captivity. So she heard about that. So she was careful. Uh, they heard from their masters that they're going to be free. And they're careful. They became not to be not to get pregnant. Eliyot's Meshem Ba'ayim. Remember, a shifka goes out. A shifka is like an Evid Knani. If they knock out their tooth or their eye, which is suddenly without warning and not unexpected, you say they're careful not to get pregnant. She didn't know she's going to get free right away. It's something that happened by itself or it was unexpected. Maybe Rabbi Yossi's motto, where it was unexpected, then Shitaka does have to wait three months, but Anusa if she was raped or, or seduced, even though she was raped and she that was unexpected. Elo Amrabaya Isha Mazana. The reason is because a woman who's Mazana, Ms. Apechas, she she shakes herself up. She turns herself over because they should look to stop her. So she shouldn't get pregnant. Pregnant. In other words, there's a way, even if she wasn't expected to become Jewish or to be freed or to, uh, or, or whatever, to, to use a contraceptive, a woman who is Mazana knows how to, how to avoid pregnancy. She, she shakes herself up. She turns herself over in order to be pregnant. What about Rabiuda who says you do have to wait? It doesn't always work. <laughs> right? The, there are contraceptives that don't always work. You know, they can't use just natural means. Sometimes you have to use something that was another sheet. Okay, we got through some of tomorrow's stuff. Tomorrow's a short day and a long job. Have a good day. Shavuot Tov to everybody.